And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. The queen of seasons, springtime, is all around us, and it's Holy Saturday, and a time for all of the Christian faith to take a moment and reflect on where we are. You know, tomorrow is the resurrection of our Lord, Easter Sunday. And many years ago, I got a very clipped short message from a member of the media, somebody whose politics are about as far to the left as mine are, center to the right. And she sent me three simple words. He is risen, with a big exclamation point behind it. And I realized in that moment that our politics, other things that divide us, ultimately really don't matter when the love of Christ unites us. And so this weekend, as we finish the observance of the death of our Lord and then celebrate his resurrection, we have a great time to think about the fact that because Christ died for us, our salvation is gotten, our eternal life is secured, and death is conquered. We are free. Christ has won the victory, and we all can celebrate that as one. And as we went through Holy Week, we experienced some of the more unusual things that have ever occurred in Pennsylvania politics, and especially in this campaign for governor. First off was Donald Trump's non-endorsement of a candidate. Now, sometimes when a former president endorses a candidate, it has an impact in the race, and you say, well, that's what ex-presidents do. But this time, President Trump chose to specifically say he would not support and would not endorse Bill McSwain. Now, that's damaging and devastating in and of itself, but what makes it particularly troubling for the McSwain campaign is that their whole narrative was based around two things. One, that he was President Trump's guy. He constantly said, President Trump trusted me, you can trust me, and that he was a Marine, a fighter, a tough guy who would take on the left and take on Josh Shapiro. President Trump called him a coward. We'll see where that ends up, but it seems like the McSwain campaign is now hearing a death rattle. And at the same time, the Senate Senate President Pro Tem, Jay Corman, was dropping out of the race, filing papers in court to have himself removed from the ballot, and then just hours later, dropping back in. So we'll see how long he remains in the race for this next period of time. But this much I will say in all seriousness, we have been slow and steady. We've been out on the trail every single day. We may not be in the media as much as some other candidates, but we are certainly before voters more than anybody else. And sometimes shoe leather counts for a lot. In fact, to a lot of voters, it counts more than these 30 second ads that we've all become pretty sick of. But now is the time when the chest thumping speeches and the great stories really have to come to an end because there's serious business in front of Pennsylvania. And that's what I'm going to be talking about throughout the rest of this campaign. Things like my proposal to have every graduating senior from a Pennsylvania high school pass a simple citizenship test, which means they would have read the Constitution, know a little bit about the rule of law, have gotten a real understanding of our history and the things that make our country so great and exceptional. I think that would be great for all of us. And I'm also talking about an additional constitutional amendment that would allow we the people, all of us, the opportunity to remove from office any governor that thinks he or she is a king. And so the Masters is behind us, baseball season is upon us, the flowers are in full bloom, the trees are green, the weather is warm, let's hope it stays that way, and it's Easter weekend. And to all who celebrate and observe a very blessed, wonderful, happy Easter, because that is the best 60-ish seconds of your week.